Okay, here we're given 2022 China's Math Gaoka, which is a college entrance exam. It is problem number seven, it's a multiple choice problem, and it worth five points. All right, here we're given th three quantities, A, B, and C. Here A is 0 0.1 times E to the 0 0.1's power, and C is like le uh, log 0 0.9. You know that for the logarithm, and if it's uh, smaller than one, it's going to be elective. And here we put elective, this number is going to be a positive number, right? And B, of course, the one over nine is about 0 0.111 forever. So that uh, we know that that easy. But for A and C, it's hard to figure it out, right? So here we try to uh, choose those A, B, C, D, so which one is correct, right? So why don't you think about this? The hint is that uh, you probably want to look at the Taylor series expansion, all right? So um, try it out, and uh, you know if you can get five points in this college entrance exam. And uh, if you're ready, we can continue with the video. All right. So here, observation is that uh, let's. Uh, Think about zero one is here, yeah, yeah. This is a uh, even though it's zero nine, you know that this is one minus. Okay, so C here we can treat it as a log one minus zero point one, right? And here is, you know, when we talk about this is zero one. So the function where you're interested in is probably x e to the x where x is is you know equals zero point one. Here, how do we get 0 0.1 out of 1 over 9? So B equal 1 over 9. When you think about it, because we're interested in 0 0.1, so maybe it's, it's equal 0 0.1 over 0 0.9, or you can rewrite it as 0 0.1 over 1 minus 0 0.1. The function we're interested in here is function x over 1 over x. This where we want to evaluate the value 0 0.1. Here, the function we're looking we're interested in is going to be logarithm of 1 minus x and then of course we have negative sign in front of it and the value we're interested in is 0 0.1 all right so all these should remind you that you should try out a Taylor series expansion around in this case and you know because 0 0.1 is very small it's very close to you know x equal 0 so we can use the Taylor series around value zero. In general, the term is going to be is going to be this. Of course, for a different function, you may have what is called a range of convergence. So, like for example, this the range is probably is all the real numbers. First, e to the x power is equal to this one, right? But but of course, we are interested in x times e x. So, in this case, if you multiply x on both sides, right here, you're going to have x and you're going to have, you know, different powers and so on and so forth, right? So here we are, this is this is for the a, right? And for the, for the second quantity here, we're looking at this particular case, but again, this is over 1, right? So if you want time x, you can, you can times x, you know, if you times x here and here you have x, this would be x squared, x to the third, and so on and so forth, right? This is a B. And this is a C here is uh, for the log, you know, uh, you're gonna have uh, this expansion here. Uh, again, and um, all these you can verify by a generic term like this in the Taylor series around X0 or sometime McLaurin uh, series, all right? You can review your calculus uh, results here. All right, so um, we are interested in the form here however where the one the one we're looking at is negative one negative x right so either um, you use this form directly or let's let's rewrite it like in this form right so let's do that let's rewrite this three equation as a desirable abc form here so we we multiply x on on the first equation we're going to get this and we multiply x on the second equation we got this one the third one we're going to and replace x with negative x, you know, and then put a negative sign in front of it, and then you're gonna get this. Now it's very clear which one is smaller because we are interested in the value around x 
equal 0 0.1. Notice that in, in this expansion, the rate of convergence is that uh, x cannot be too small. Usually the x um, absolute value should be less than 1 in order to this to be valid, right? So uh, otherwise it won't converge. Um, all right, so, but x equals 0, 1 is in this range, all right? So it is safe to use the, the uh, expansion. So when you look at this, when you compare in, in around the value x 0 0.1, you notice that the quantity A, let me, let me see, this is the quantity A, right? This is quantity A, quantity B, quantity C. So which one is smallest? Now when you look at this, the first term is the same, x. The second term here, this is also the same, but here is smaller. So definitely C is the smallest. So C is the smallest. And um, and then the other one, of course, because this is uh, um, two factorial, this is x to the third. So the dominant terms are the leading terms because when x is very small, you can ignore the higher power, right? So that's why we always look at, uh, you know, the dominant terms in terms of the earlier ones. So in this case, A is the smaller one, B is bigger, right? So A and B. Yeah, when you look at the original problem, you know, the only number C is correct. All right, so that's our answer is C, we choose C. Of course, so, um, this I think is a well designed problem because uh, when you learn calculus, Taylor theories, and uh, these three are, I would say, in my opinion, would be the three most uh, commonly used, you know, um, expansion here. So it, it is good that uh, you review that and then and just be familiar with uh, um, these three and uh, Taylor uh, series expansion. All right. So that's it for. Um, this problem and hope you enjoy the video and please subscribe to the channel for uh, further uh, problems like this. Thank you.